voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. For some people on the internet, especially for feminists, they think by using this dictionary right here and looking up the word feminism, somehow, some fucking hell, that is a good enough reason to support feminism. And if you oppose feminism, then you're nothing more than a misogynistic, uh, sexist asshole that wouldn't want a female president, or you just don't want women in power at all. You just fear women. And that's a load of fucking shit. Apparently, people, by the, uh, people just like Garrett Robinson think this way. I mean, this is totally fucking shit. And I got more videos on this asshole, trust me. This is just only the beginning. But I'll be focusing on this particular video because boy, oh fucking boy, he is this stupid. Let's begin. Hello Rebels and welcome back to my life. I'm here to out myself, to come out of the closet and declare myself a feminist. Actually, I've never really been in the closet about that. Women's rights are obviously very important to me if you watch much of my channel, as are all human rights. But I've never just gone and said, yeah, I am a feminist. So here's that. Does making that declaration make a difference? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that your actions are more important than what you say, but it still feels kind of good. This is ironic because you contradict yourself immediately. Right after this good, you can get some weird reactions when you're a straight white male and you declare yourself in favor of women's rights or human rights or racial rights or whatever. And the Venn diagram of people who give you those weird reactions and the people who are probably bigoted in one way or another is pretty close to a circle. Listen, some people will say that your declaration of support means less because you haven't gone through what the people in that group have gone through. And I get that, but if the necessary requirement for supporting a cause was that you had to be one of the members of that group, then there would be no such thing as supporting the cause. And guess what? I agree. What, you thought I would be like, no, 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 you're an idiot. No, believe it or not, I agree. I think, or at least I hope, that allies have an important part to play in the fight for equal rights. But too often, people are afraid of being labeled as a social justice warrior. That's one of those internet terms that has come out for people who, like, are campaigning for feminism and, you know, equal rights and marriage rights and all that sort of stuff. Now, specifically, some people dislike the word feminism because they see it as an analogy for female supremacy. And looking at the etymology of the word, I can, I can see where they're coming from, even though they're still wrong, that's not what it's about, but being afraid of the term social justice warrior? Like, who doesn't want to be in that club? And hypocrisy found. Maybe I can get this through your thick freaking skull into your fragile little mind. Maybe, just maybe. Have you ever thought that maybe that people don't want to call themselves social justice warriors or feminists? because they don't want to affiliate with them because you know i've seen the shit that feminists have done and it's not pretty i've seen the fucking double standards hell i made videos like a couple freaking videos against the common core arguments that feminists have made time and time again the social justice warriors they're no fucking different i have seen the work of social justice warriors i have and it's shitty it's completely fucking shitty. When dealing with a social justice warrior, they barely respond to criticism. And when they do, they either insult you or they um, call you misogynistic for opposing their ideals or they do answer you, but they barely give you a satisfactory answer. They always just gonna find a way to hop around the question, try to avoid it direct, you know, indirectly as possible, and think that they won. They somehow won by asking even more questions. Questioning the questions. That's what they do. It, a social justice warrior is basically playing chess with a pigeon. The pigeon is just going to knock down the chess pieces, and shit on the board, and then flies away, hang out with his friends, and then cool on about how this, this, this pigeon has won. That's you! 
And I doubt I'm going to receive a video response. I am very, very fucking doubtful. But if you do, then please at least try to address the criticism that I am giving you in this video at this moment. Seriously, who came up with that term and who came up with it as an intended insult? Like, let's break the term down word nerd style. Warrior. One who fights for something, also just a cool word. Justice, which means equality or fairness, and is also a very cool word. And social, having to do with a society or culture, not the coolest word. So social justice warriors are people who are fighting for equality and fairness in a society or culture. And this is supposed to be an insult? I, I don't understand this. Of course you don't understand. Of course you don't. Because he never bothered to 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 try to understand that you you just assume that people consider social justice warrior as an intended insult. Yeah, there, there, there's no other legit reason to not associate yourself as a social justice warrior outside of I don't know, opposing it. Yeah, you know, it, it's not the actions that w we are against. No, it's just the fucking words. But I mean, hey, if we want clever terms for people, we can come up with a name for the people on the other side of this fight, if you want to call it that. Oh, how cute. You're gonna give a name for us. No, thank you. I know it's gonna be something that's a kick in the fucking balls. That. So clearly they're still trying to do things within a society or culture. So we can start with the word social again, that's good. But we can't use the word justice again because they seem to think that's a bad thing and we'll go with what they're campaigning for, which is inequality. Yes, of course! Because, because opposing feminism means you oppose equality, therefore you're a part of an inequality group and blah 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 blah. Go fuck yourself! Do you even know me at all? I support equality. I support equality for everyone. Race, gender, handicap, people with beards, whatever. You know what I'm trying to do right now? I am helping this one gay guy in India, okay? He's having, he's having a hard time in India. You have no fucking idea what goes on in fucking India. He told me this. He told me that you know, his family really doesn't like gay people and they they put an arranged marriage for this guy they're going to force him to marry a woman that he doesn't know nor does he even love and at school it's no easy life he gets bullied even though they haven't found out that he's gay if they were to find out he was gay then guess what his friends will abandon him immediately just because all his friends are anti-gay. Plus, pretty much in India, it's pretty much looked down upon to be gay or to be a lesbian. And it's even worse to be a transsexual. And I'm trying to help him get through life. And he thanks me. He considers me a true friend. I like this guy. You know, I don't really talk to many gay people. Especially here in New York. I mean, yes, yeah, surprisingly, there's a lot of gay people, but I barely talked to any gay people at all. I felt human for the very first time in years discussing things with a gay person. What have you done? Jack shit. You're complaining about fucking video games. You, sir, are a great insult to people who actually do, uh, do fight for equality. All you're doing is complain and complain on how video games are treating women as these sex toys or whatever when we've debunked this shit time and time again. You are a fucking insult. Now for the third word, it would be tempting to use something biting or scathing, you know, some kind of insult. But these people have already been pretty generous to us by referring to us as warriors. That's a cool word. I, I, I like that. I want to be a warrior. And one of the most annoying ways to defeat an opponent is to be kinder to them than they are to you. So let's do that and let's also choose a word with some historical and racial connotations that are kind of appropriate in this context. I nominate Crusader. So let's call these people social inequality crusaders. And hey, unlike social justice, 
Justice Warrior, the acronym can even be pronounced SICK. So we've got Social Justice Warriors on one side fighting against some sick individuals who perform sick actions and generally make the world a little sicker. I have nothing else to say. You're fucking cancer. You should be eliminated from this planet. I'm not joking. You should be... F aliens should, you know, kidnap you and anal probe you because the things that you've said is incredibly stupid. So if you wanted two sides to this conflict, there you go. I've named the other side for you. You're welcome. If you know a sick individual, don't hold it against them. Most of them were raised to be sick. Don't tolerate them, but don't hate them either. After all, hate is a pretty sick thing, and it's only going to make you a little bit sicker yourself. Thanks for watching, Rebels, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, yeah, because we oppose equality. Yeah, you know, don't bother talking to these people. Don't listen to their side of the story. Just listen to our side of the story. Because this fucking thing. It just... It just is. That's your fucking argument. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, Garrett Robinson. <sighs> you know? It's so, so strange. I think that the feminist need a holy bible but they couldn't create one so instead they just found the holy bible for themselves and you know just use the dictionary as their own holy bible for themselves it's fucking amazing that these feminists would go to such fucking tactics i have nothing else to say and believe me there's more to this asshole but my sanity it's about to break just because of this one individual. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.